So your next task is um, the communicating information task and that involves task 3 and task 4. We'll start with task 3 which is to create the first draft of a catalogue containing details of the souvenirs that the shop sells. So that's what you've got to do from the scenario booklet and this, if I were you I'd approach this um, without looking at this document here. This is the tick sheet which says what you've got to cover when you create both of the catalogue and the presentation. And I'm going to talk about it but I'm going to come back to what I've just said and if I were you I wouldn't really look at this yet and here's the reason why. Task 3 and task 4 is to create the first drafts of a catalogue and of a presentation. Now in order to make sure that these are your first drafts you've kind of not got to make them perfect and I don't want you to do that purposely. I don't want you to make a bad version of this document. What I want you to do is I want you to make a catalogue that you're proud of and you think is fantastic. What you'll then realise is once you've done the first draft of your catalogue and you've done the first draft of your presentation, you'll then realise that there's certain criteria that you've got to meet. So there's certain things that you've got to do in either your catalogue or your presentation. Please note what I've just said. You've got to show evidence of these in either the catalogue or the presentation. You haven't got to evidence all of these in the catalogue and all of these in the presentation. You've got to do it in one or the other. So my suggestion and advice to you is let's just create a catalogue and let's just create a presentation and then once you've done that you're going to obtain feedback from your peers, your friends, at least two or three of your friends are going to give you feedback about your work and you have to record all of that as well and their feedback should be influenced by this criteria. So for example here like it says you've got to use a table or original template. Now what I would do is just create your catalogue and just create your presentation and if you haven't included a table that could be some of the feedback that your peer gives you. They could say oh what I would do or what I would suggest is in your catalogue maybe you use a table to lay out the content. Yeah so I know I've talked about it and I'm kind of contradicting myself by talking about it but for task 3 and task 4, you've got to create um, task 3 a catalogue, task 4 a presentation. So for task 3, you've got two options for software that you could use to create this catalogue. You can either use Microsoft Publisher, which is probably a piece of software you're familiar with, and would get you the same amount of marks if you used another application called Adobe InDesign. Now on this computer, I actually don't have Microsoft Publisher. Uh, but I do have Adobe InDesign, which is this piece of software here. And again, we do have this in school. So it's got to be um, a catalogue, so a minimum uh, for me of four pages. Okay, so a minimum of four pages for your catalogue. Now, I've done my catalogue A5 in size. Um, you can do it A4 if you like, but I've done mine A5. So here's my catalogue. Um, and again, I, I've tried to make this as good as I can. I really like it in terms of its simplicity. I've called my shop Kooky Souvenirs. Uh, I've got this image. I've put just this, um, this line on the front page, kept it really simple. Um, you've obviously got to come up with a logo for your company. Don't make it too complicated. Mine was just a picture off the web. Uh, but don't use something that would be deemed as uh, copyright. So don't use someone else's logo. Yeah, this is just um, a doily. If you know what they are, I just typed in doily pink and this came up. And come up with a name for your souvenir shop as well. On my second and third pages, so the inside pages, I've got this. So I've got pictures of the products that you will be selling in your souvenir shop. And again, if you're not aware of those products, they are obviously here on this page. There's um, photo posters, there are mugs, key rings. Um, t-shirts, mouse mats and, um, and some other things as well. Now the iPhone cases is mine, that's something that I'm going to sell. So let me just clarify which ones you've got to sell. So th the reason I know which ones you've got to sell is because later on in the project you have to create a um, database and these five products here these five products here are in the database as products that you sell in your souvenir shop. 
So you sell key rings, you sell mouse mats, you sell mugs, you sell photo posters and you sell t-shirts. You've then got to add two of your own items to that list. So I've added doormats and iPhone cases. Don't copy off that. Don't you do doormats or iPhone cases. You've got to choose a, two other types of souvenirs that you can add to your catalogue and that you can add to your database later on. So in this catalogue, you must have pictures of these five things. Yep, so go find um, pictures of these five things that suit your style of your catalogue. So mine's obviously a vintage style cat catalogue, so I've found pictures that are quite vintage looking. Um, you obviously go and find different pictures. Make sure, obviously, it's a catalogue that's got to provide information about the products. So make sure you give a little description um, about the products that you sell. So you can see here, look, I've given a bit of a description. I've made all of this up. Um, don't copy again off mine. I've just made it up for myself. Um, I've put information about the width and the height of the posters. You don't have to put that. You could put um, information about the different type of people that are on the posters or different colours that you do. You do have you don't have to put the cost, but again, I've put the cost and I've made that up. I would suggest you give a discount if people buy more than a certain number, and that will come in useful later on when you do the spreadsheet task. So, um, yeah, so this is my catalog. It's not it's not amazing. It's not brilliant, but it covers what the criteria is asking for, and I've got a back page here as well. Again, just what I thought would be on the back page of a catalogue, so contact details of how you can uh, locate the shop to go and buy more products. You could put a web address on there or, or something, or you could just use this back page to put more products on. So for me, that's the first draft of my catalogue, and I've, I've done that, and that's been saved in um, my communicating information folder, um, as you can see here, with a sensible name. Now, obviously, what I've done... Um, is I've actually done the final ones as well, but ignore those for now. We're going to move on to those later. So these are my drafts. So this is my draft catalogue and my draft presentation. I've called them sensibly um, catalogue draft one and presentation draft one because later on you have to improve them once you've got feedback like I've already mentioned. So that's my catalogue. Um, I'm now going to show you my, uh, my presentation draft one, which is task four. Okay. Find that. So again, for the presentation, it says that you've got to create a first draft of the presentation using at least three slides. It does say that you can create a website instead if you want, but I, I do a presentation um, because you've probably got more familiarity with the skills uh, and techniques that you need to use uh, to get the marks for this. So again, at least uh, three slides, and it's got to promote both the shop and the souvenirs it sells. Okay, so this is my... Um, Where's my presentation? This is my presentation. Um, again, just a first page, shop is now open, so I'm promoting the shop. I've got a location of where the shop is. That's met that criteria. And then on my next two slides, I've got um, information about the products that I sell. Okay, so I feel like I've met that criteria. And notice there's a consistency between this presentation and the catalog, because it's for the same organization, so they should have the similar look and feel between them. Now, if you've done that, you've created your presentation, you've created your catalogue, you have done tasks three and four. Again, just make sure that you um, save them appropriately. So make sure you've um, saved them in your communicating information folder and you've called them catalogue draft one and presentation draft one. 